Extortion is a serious issue that can have far-reaching consequences for individuals and society as a whole. It can take many forms, including physical threats, financial coercion, and psychological manipulation. In this article, we'll explore the various tactics that manipulators use to extort others, as well as strategies for resisting and dealing with extortion. One common tactic used by manipulators is the use of loaded questions. These are questions that are phrased in such a way as to suggest a particular answer or to put the person being questioned on the defensive. For example, a manipulator might ask, you don't deny these facts, do you? Or you can't possibly disagree with these statistics, can you? These questions are designed to put pressure on the person being questioned and to make them feel like they have no choice but to agree. Another tactic used by manipulators is the use of flattery or charm. They may try to win the person over with compliments or by making them feel special. This can be especially effective when the person being manipulated is seeking validation or approval. However, it's important to be aware of this tactic and to remember that flattery can be insincere and used to manipulate. Manipulators may also use threats to extort others. These threats can be physical such as the threat of violence, or they can be emotional or psychological, such as the threat of ending a relationship or causing harm to oneself. It's important to take threats seriously and to seek help if you feel that you are in danger. Another tactic used by manipulators is the use of guilt or shame. They may try to make the person feel responsible for their own problems or for the problems of others. For example, a manipulator might say, if you really love me, you would do what I want. This can be especially effective when the person being manipulated has a strong sense of responsibility or compassion. Manipulators may also try to exploit the person's vulnerabilities or insecurities. They may try to use the person's fears or doubts against them in order to get what they want. It's important to be aware of your own vulnerabilities and to work on building your self-confidence and resilience. There have been several studies conducted on the effects of extortion and manipulation on individuals. One study found that victims of extortion often experience a range of negative psychological effects, including anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD. These effects can be long-lasting and can interfere with the victim's ability to function in their daily life. Another study found that victims of psychological manipulation such as gaslighting a tactic in which the manipulator tries to make the victim doubt their own perception of reality, experience a range of negative effects, including increased anxiety and depression, a decrease in self-esteem, and an increased tendency to doubt themselves and their own abilities. These findings highlight the importance of recognizing and addressing extortion and manipulation, as they can have serious and lasting effects on the well-being of the victim it's important to seek support and to work on building resilience and self-confidence in order to protect against these negative effects. So, what can you do if you find yourself the victim of extortion? Here are a few strategies to try. 1. Set boundaries. It's important to assert your own agency and to let the manipulator know what behavior is and is not acceptable. You can say something like, I don't appreciate being pressured or threatened. I'm not comfortable with this conversation and I'm going to end it now. 2. Seek help. If you feel unsafe or are being threatened, it's important to seek help from a trusted friend, family member, or professional. You can also call a crisis hotline or the police for assistance. 3. Practice self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential for maintaining your emotional and physical well-being. Make sure to get enough sleep eat a healthy diet, and engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. 4. Seek support. It can be helpful to talk with a therapist or counselor about your experiences with extortion. They can provide a safe and supportive space for you to process your feelings and develop coping strategies. 5. Learn more. Educating yourself about manipulation and extortion can help you recognize these tactics when they are used against you and develop strategies for dealing with them. 
In conclusion, extortion is a serious issue that can have negative impacts on individuals and society. It's important to be aware of the tactics manipulators use and to have strategies in place for dealing with them. Remember, you have the right to your care of yourself both physically and emotionally. It's okay to set boundaries and to assert your own agency in any situation, including when you are the victim of extortion. It's important to be aware of the tactics manipulators use and to have strategies in place for dealing with them. By educating yourself and seeking support, you can empower yourself to stand up to extortion and protect your own well-being.